Hey everyone, it's Justine. Today we're going to be learning how to customize our Misty stamping tool. We are going to need some double-sided adhesive, some washi tape, Mod Podge, and a brush to get this done. A lot of things that we already have in the craft room. Remove the black foam piece or the mouse pad from the center if you have that in there because things might get a little bit messy with that in there. You're going to begin by adding some double-sided adhesive over top of the rulers on your Misty. Now this is the point where it's good to note that if you use the rulers on your Misty, then this is probably not the technique for you because we're going to be covering them completely. For me personally, I mainly rely on the grid lines in the center more than I rely on the rulers on the side, top, and bottom. So make sure you cover everything with your double-sided adhesive. So once you have all the other side of the double-sided adhesive removed and all the adhesive is exposed, then you're able to go in with your washi tape. Now in the original Misty that I had done that the footage unfortunately got lost on, all I needed was a piece of washi tape. I went along all three sides and it was good to go because the ruler and my washi tape were the same size. If your rulers on your Misty tend not to be the same size as the washi tape you're using, then you can go ahead and add a multiple layers like I'm doing. So I decided to add these two layers of Harry Potter washi tape in there. And the cool thing is, was at one point my washi tape actually got crooked, I noticed, but I was able to lift it back up with the adhesive that I'm using from scrapbook.com. It allowed me to lift the washi tape back up and put a new piece on. That was not a big deal at all. Now, when I was finished, I noticed some of the pink was still exposed, unfortunately. Now, it's not that I don't like pink. I use pink often on my cards, but I don't like pink tools. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to look into a way to customize my tool. So anyway, I had that pink exposed, so I decided to start over. And you'll see here, I had no issue whatsoever lifting off the washi tape that I had just laid down in order to make some adjustments. It didn't even rip the washi tape that I had on the other side. So I went in and I added a little bit of gold washi tape to all three sides. And then I went in and I laid down that washi tape that I had before there in the center. And now all the pink is covered, all the adhesive is covered, and that's exactly what you want. So the last step after applying the washi tape is to simply add a sealant. I'm going to be using Mod Podge over top of the washi tape and as well as on the edges, that's important. And I've had my other Misty done for a few weeks now and with regular usage, this has held up really, really well. But the cool thing is I went in with a set of tweezers and I removed the washi tape to see if I could remove it. If I ever need to replace it or it gets gunky or gross, it was able to lift up with no issue other than using some tweezers. And then I was able to go in and redo it. So if it gets gross, you can redo this no problem. Here's a look at both Misty's and I'm going to be doing in my next video Misty tips and hacks. I made one already previously, but I wanted to redo it and add in the new techniques that I've learned. So I hope you'll join me for that in a few days. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.